To the Bone is the newest Netflix original movie directed by Marty Noxon and stars Lily Collins and Keanu Reeves. If you haven't heard of this movie then all you really need to know is that it is about a bunch of people, Lily Collins characters specifically, that deal with anorexia and other eating disorders. And it's that reason alone that it's gained a lot of controversy. And I really don't understand why, because I feel like people nowadays need to be aware that filmmakers nowadays can make films about whatever the fuck they want. And if that subject they choose to film, make a film about happens to be suicide or abortion or eating disorders, then that's what they're going to have to make the movie about. And you just kind of got to deal with it. And I have to admit, when the main controversy surrounding this movie is just worried parents basically going, oh, this isn't right, I shouldn't let my kids watch this, then don't. That's the very simple answer, just don't let your kids watch it. Controversy aside, this movie actually surprised the hell out of me because it tackled the subject matter in a very mature and realistic way without it ever feeling overly dramatised and I've got to say that is the best possible way they could have handled it for a movie like this. The acting across the board in this movie is excellent. Lily Collins as the lead character I thought was absolutely fantastic. You can obviously tell she lost a lot of weight for this role but don't let that detract from the fact that her actual performance is really, really good. She's, she feels very sheltered and very sensitive about certain things. And a person like that in that situation would feel like that. Because believe it or not, I've actually had friends who have gone through similar things like this. Have gone through anorexia and eating disorders and stuff similar to this. And they captured it in such a realistic way, especially with Lily Collins' character, that I just have to give my highest praise to. I really enjoyed Keanu Reeves' character. He was the doctor who was looking after all these patients at the clinic where Lily Collins' character is staying. And the best thing about his character is that he just says it how it is. He's not like every usual movie doctor where they just go, everything's going to be fine, it'll be okay. He literally says it as it is, and at times, if that means for him to swear, or if that needs him to basically just say it out loud, what you're thinking, but you, you're afraid to say it, then he will say it. If you're having horrible thoughts about the way you feel, or the way a certain character, like, can't deal with the anorexia, he just basically says fuck those thoughts. You also have Alex Sharp who plays Luke, who is another person at this clinic where Lily Collins' character is staying. And at first I wasn't sure about him because I felt he was a bit over the top. But as the movie went on, I actually started to like his character quite a lot. To the point where he just felt, you just felt sorry for him. And not just him, but all the other characters in the clinic as well. Another thing that I really liked about this movie is the way it was written. I, like I said, I didn't think it was overly dramatised or cheesy at all. Instead, I thought they played it very realistically and very believably. Which, with a movie like this, you can very quickly divert down the cheesy, dramatic road and just completely lose the audience instantly. Luckily, they do not do that in this movie and instead play it for a believable aspect that you actually can buy into. That being said though, there is a moment in the final act of this movie that actually made me cry because of how well it was executed, both from the acting, the directing, and the writing standpoint. Because in on paper, that moment could have gone completely wrong, but the way they handled it was just so well done and it did I did shed a tear. In terms of flaws there are only a few problems I have with this movie and they're only like little minor ones at that uh, and they're all regarding the final act of the movie. There are a few moments during that final part that do feel like the movie meanders a little bit and doesn't quite know where it's going but luckily it does pick up a bit more towards the end and whilst we're on on talking about the final act, there is a certain moment in the last scene or so of the movie that kind of feels out of place. The rest of the movie has a very realistic tone to it, but then there's that one scene at the end 
that just kind of I get I completely get the point of why they did it but it just feels out of place in terms of the tone of the movie and it just I just I just didn't feel it kind of quite worked I like I said I completely understand why it's there and what it's there to do with the main character but overall I just felt like it was kind of detracting from the rest of the tone of the movie Overall guys, I'm going to give To The Bone an 8 out of 10. It's well acted, it's well written, it's well filmed. It's overall just a very good movie. So guys, that was my review of To The Bone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.